Hello and welcome to a very special video. This is the best game ever. It was a game that I made quite a while ago and I'd just like to show it to you today because it's kind of quite amusing. So, first of all I just need to start the game. There. Now the first level is a maze you need to get through. This game I've shown to most of my friends. It's almost like some kind of challenge they have to complete in order to get into my room and to earn my trust. The the movement you can see is terrible. If you hit something, you bounce off it, and it makes it almost impossible to complete unless you go really, really slowly. Now, I'm going to be quiet because you'll be able to hear me in game. Huh, this maze looks easy. Oh, of course it is. All you have to do is just go along here. Uh, you're stupid. Oh, silly me. It was the wrong you're way. Stupid. Of course it's down here. Let's keep going. Yeah, the movement kind of scares most people off straight away. Though not me. You're stupid. No, that's definitely the right way. If you get it right, you can go quite quickly through this maze just by changing direction like that, but it's still annoying. I mean, the movement's worse than your mum. Up here. You'd think you're almost done, but then... <sighs> I'm not controlling this, by the way. And you have to start again. I'm going to speed this up because otherwise you're going to get bored and not watch the video. Do, do, do. And here we are again. Most people don't get this far. They think it's just going to do that over and over again. But I'm not that annoying. And just as you think you're about to complete the maze. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Just wait here for dramatic effect. Audience retention is beginning to drop off. Let's go! Oh. Well, doesn't look like there's a way out there. Let's go back through the level. If you don't know what that sound meant, you soon will. Try to get out of this maze whilst you still can. You know what? I'm just going to spit it up for you again. Here we are, almost out. And just you think you're about to leave? No, no, no! <sighs> Believe it or not, one of my friends managed to get out in time. I've never managed it. Time for the first cutscene. Hmm, how do I get out of this maze? Hello there! What do you want? I want to help you! Really? No! Bye! Never! Where has that badly animated cartoon man gone? Oh well, I better concentrate on getting down again. Slowly... Ah! Oh no, I've just knocked over a can of sunflower seeds. Oh no, I'll have to pick up every single one. Believe it or not, that is based on a true story. As I was making this game, I accidentally knocked it off the shelf and it inspired me to make more of the game. Without that, I wouldn't have this amazing experience right now. Of course, whenever you move your mouse over it, it bounces away. I've always like worried that it would go off the side of the screen, but it seems to be pretty good at like staying on there. So there we go. Let's just quickly do this. Uh, oh, whoops! I've just knocked them all over again! This one's probably one of the easiest tasks in the game. Oh, that one looped right around. So you can probably tell that this didn't get very good reception. Still the best game I've ever made. Yes, I've saved the world again! <sighs> hey, what are you doing to my sunflower seeds? Get out of here! And that completes part one. Let's play part two. I'm quite proud of this task because no one else can seem to do it. They always bounce off like that and they can't control themselves until they stop then. And they always let the apples go to the top of the screen, which makes them lose. But no, 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 no. Oh no, I've missed one. Oh no, I've missed one. I have to start all over again. Well, that's embarrassing. Hey, right, let's do this properly this time. Hmm, 
Oh, I'll just had to collect all the apples on the way down. Before you ask, I have no mm, idea what this I'm is based really on. I'm really hungry. I don't think it was based on a dream. I'm quite hungry. I'm not hungry anymore. I'm quite full. I'm really full. Oh no! I'm and on to the next part. Ah, I better not throw up. <laughs> For some reason, people find this bit hilarious, but the next bit's far better. I made the first ever ragdoll physics. It's an amazing physics engine. Just you wait till you see it. I don't know what happened there. I think I have to move my mouse, but it's worked now. Helen, please can you go? I'm trying to record. Look, Helen, please just go. Just go. Let's go, please. Why do you always try to mess everything up? Just go. Get out. No, I'm not going to show you force. Just get out. Get out, Helen. Helen, get out. Get out. Oh my god. Sisters. Well, that went completely wrong. Okay, I seem to have broken this game. I think I'm about to restart. Seems to be working this time. Adventurer sinks in his own sick. What will happen to him now? Find out in part three. The waking up. And that's part two complete. Da, 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 I have to say this is getting very exciting. Let's play part three. Da, 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 da. Oh, that was all a dream. Oh well, I'll just have to get back to uh, doing something else. Ow! <laughs> And this is the best bit of the game. Bye. Now at this point I started spending a bit too much time making this game. It, it's a great idea, you get to race against lots of horses and randomly placed mines appear on the screen which destroy anyone who touches them. Well that was fail. There are some real next gen strats you can do here but I I'll just stick to the traditional sort. <laughs> okay, if mine just spawned underneath me. I hate this game. Let's employ one of those next gen strats. Oh no, I've been outwitted. Never mind. And it just spawned underneath me again. Bye. This game's impossible. Oh. I don't know how you can describe this game. It's kind of halfway between a racing sim and Minesweeper. I think it's a good mix. I'm just waiting for a mine to appear right in front of me again. It's like driving down a country lane at night and a bunny rabbit runs right out in front of you and you run it over. Only the mines in this game make you feel bad. And it happened again. Screw this game. I guess you'll never find out what happened in part four. It's no great loss. Thanks for watching. Have fun!